So the Brutalizer Legendary Weapon is exactly what its name suggests, and today guys with this complete guide I will show you how to obtain this thing. How's it going people, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now most if not all legendaries in this game at some point or another are tied to you completing the game's main story quest line. For sure you can start and progress some of this quest, but you won't be able to finish it I do not believe as the later stages of this quest require you to take out certain types of enemies which are unlocked real real late on in the campaign story, so keep that in mind. Ok so first things first, there are two side quests you must complete in order to get the legendary quest line to open up with my understanding. I'd already completed the campaign, but the legendary quest didn't appear until I did these two first quests. So both quests are tied to Ricky, who is found within Beverly Hills, yes that drunk rocker in his wife's underwear. These quests can be found right here, so go to Ricky and pick up the first of two quests called Resurrect the Rex. This side quest requires you to go to a house nearby and grab some old tapes of Ricky's to reignite his rocker's spirit. It's quite a straightforward quest I'm not gonna lie. With the keys to the house you need to get inside dropping from a zombie in the back garden so slay away. Once you are in and have grabbed all three tapes you can make your way back to Ricky and the first side quest is now complete. The second side quest is called the Ballad of Ricky. This side quest Ricky asks you to get his guitar back for him called Chopper, so that's what you have to do. You need to head to his house up the hill, break your way in, get onto that back area and play that music which draws out his bandmate called Misha, a zombie you need to take down. Upon taking Misha down, she drops keys to the kitchen. Upon grabbing this guys, you need to make your way inside that house and to that kitchen. Make your way upstairs and around the back of these bedrooms until you get here. Then simply grab the guitar. Now once you have it, make your way back to Ricky and finish this side quest line. You are done. So now you should have opened the legendary quest line. This quest line is called Body Art and it started within the Beverly Hills area and it's right here on the map. So this NPC is called Francesca and she is an artist. What she needs from you is to get her zombie body parts. Step 1 requires you to bring her 10 pieces of infected flesh. These you may already have on you but if you don't, go slay zombies and collect when they drop. It's quite a common thing. Now you can't start actually collecting body parts until you've progressed past the giant slayer main story mission as it's here you unlock that autophage perks and the game allows you to start collecting zombie body parts. Ok so once you have 10 pieces of infected flesh, head back to Francesca and place them in her bucket. You've now completed step 1. Step 2 is picked up from this board right next to her. It requires you to collect oversized arm bones. Now again you may already have these on you which is fine, you can go ahead and put them in that bucket. If you don't, you need to find and kill crushers, you can spawn here there and everywhere. If you look on your map, you will see crusher hotspots. Keep in mind, run about 150 meters away from a hotspot, then going back should be enough to make that enemy respawn. The description of this part of the quest mentions a Venice beach, which is where I went to get them. But I don't think you need to do this, crushers anywhere will be fine. So once you have 5 oversized arms, which you can see how many you have in your inventory, head back and place them in that bucket. Now to trigger the next part, you can simply run about 100 meters away from this NPC's house, then come back and the next part should be waiting for you on that board. The next step is for you to find arms of slubbers, again these are pretty much found everywhere but they are most common within the sewers area. I went to the Brentwood sewers as there are tons here but again you can find these anywhere and they'll be fine for you. Remember run away and come back to have them respawn. Once you have what's needed go back and place them in that bucket. To trigger the next step again run away from the area then come back.
you now need five infected spines. These come from screamers. Now there are screamers nearby within Beverly Hills. So if you don't have enough already, head to this point on the map and start slaying. Once you have what's needed, go ahead and place them in that bucket. Again guys, just get the next step, run away from the area, then come back. You now guys need to find those blade arms, three in total. Here I went to the pier area, as there are a few here you can farm for these. Again, once you have what you need, head back to the bucket and place them in. Now, the final part, you need to get mutated hearts. And you need three of these. Luckily enough, a mutated zombie spawns in a nearby mansion where you would have visited uh, for a previous quest, the Ballad of Rookie. So go back here guys. Head to that backyard and a mutated zombie will appear here. Now for me it took about 8 attempts to get the mutated hearts from them. But my best luck came when I killed these zombies in that few mold. Again, the mutated zombie will respawn if you run away and come back to this area. So once you have three mutated hearts, head back to that bucket guys and now the quest is almost done. Now to get the legendary you need to do one more thing, you need to do it one of two ways. Either fast travel out of this area then come back or simply kill yourself. Either one is fine. Once you've done either one of them, Francesca will be around the back when you go back here. So speak to her and she rewards you this amazing legendary. And there we have it guys. This is how you get the Brutalizer Legendary Weapon. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one. Well, how does it make you feel? I know, I know. Drink it in.